Hey guys, welcome back, and in this week's episode, we are going to be modifying this Logitech G29. And the issue I'm having is I put this deep dish wheel on here, and it's great, I love it, I do a lot of drifting, but I've slowly been getting into more road style racing. And for that, I need like my pedal shifters. But when I have this wheel here, my hands are like stretched out like a gorilla. Like, it was really rough. But as you see on this one, I have an extender and that's what we're going to be showing you in this video it was super easy to print it took a couple hours there's two pieces link will be down in the description and I just so happen to have this one right here that I have removed so I can show you guys taking it apart like putting it together first thing we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it together and it requires that you use two screws and you mount them together, really easy to do. And then once that's done, we're gonna take it and we're just gonna simply slide it over the shifter until it clicks over into the little hole thing right here. And once it does that, I don't know if you heard that, but it is, it is now on there and it is solid. Just adjust it maybe a little bit. And there we go. And I don't know if you can hear it, but there's quite a loud tactile like feedback to that. And I also installed the magnetic mod for the shifter. And it just uses four neodymium magnets and it's like a 3D print that clamps. Link will be in the description. It works fantastic and it adds this whole sense of tactility to your shifting, which is, it feels really good and you can use it to bring your shifters so that way you don't have to pull them as much to actually actuate them. Then you're not learning the bad habits such as like hovering it just ready to shift so that way it's just there. You don't have to worry about that. So we've installed it, it was super fast, it was super easy. We're gonna get in on some games. ACC is what I hear it's so often referred to. We're gonna play some of that and then we're going to throw it into some a set of course of drifting and we will I'll show you that it doesn't get in the way of that and all that. But that's enough for this. This is really quick. Let's just get to it and let's get into some games and let's see what happens when we actually try to use this. Alright guys, we're in the game. Um, I'm going to be quite blunt with you. I'm not that good at this. Let's get it going. I'm not sure if I have a race line on. I might. I, I really don't know any of these tracks. Why my tire pressure so? Let's see. Yeah, I don't know why the tire pressure is so. Oh, look at that. Already messing up. I am relatively new to this game. I've only really ever played iRacing when it comes to like road racing and stuff. And that one, I feel like iRacing is very good. This one I'm just having, I have a hard time getting used to it is my issue. Just different. Really fun though, like when you're actually racing, it's a blast. See. We'll do maybe one or two laps. I find it hard to talk when I'm doing it because I'm trying to think and I'm like always in the shifts like that. But it's, I don't know, it's doing pretty decent. I think we ran off once or twice. I'm missing my shifts though. Like I should have shifted down earlier in the turn and then like swooped out. But it's okay. Luckily we're not racing right now. This is just a single player like practice mode. I don't even know what track it is. It's whatever one stop track was. Oh, we ended up in the dirt. Look at that. What the heck? It looks like no clean lap from us today. 
and just like that we spin. Alright. That's how it works. I'm not sure if you could hear the tactile sound of it from that magnetic mod, which is really easy to put on. Alright, we're going for one more time. We're going to try to get at least one more lap, and then we're going to switch to uh, drift. That's right, we're going to drift after this. So that'll be fine. Because that is actually a racing sport that I'm, for, I'm at least an actor on the simulator. Dang. These shifting pedals, they make it a lot more comfortable to uh, actually race instead of like this monkey grip thing that I used to have to do. So I enjoy it. I'm glad I did it. Oh, I've raced the track before, I think. I'm not sure. But you can see that they work extremely well. I've not had issues with them. No, I tried to say that my tongue even came out. You see that? Alright. We're going to end this game and we are going to check out some drifting and see how these things, if they get... We're going to check out some drifting. Alright, that's that for this game. We're going to switch over to just regular set of courses. We're going to do some drifting and I'm going to show you that they don't really affect it at all. So let's get into that. Alright, we're in... Alright, we're in the set of Corsa. We are driving the Tando Buddies. It's just one of the easier cars. It's a car that I've drifted with quite a bit on here. We're on the classic Drift Playground map. Very classic map. It's very overused, but it's fun. I actually also just got a new e-brake, so that'll be interesting to test it out. This will be the test. For now, anyways. Let's get this started. Now, I haven't drifted in a while. And then, the only reason I'm in the third person view like this is just because I'm not in VR right now. I can only do the first person when I'm in VR, like cockpit view. I don't know why. It doesn't make sense. And then I can't handle like neck FX or whatever. It just really throws me off. So I do this arcade style as I call it when I'm just playing third person like this. And it might be more interesting because you can actually see where the car is going. I'm not sure. But let's try to get a full clean lap on here. Let's see. This has to be one of my favorite turns. It just feels so good when you actually do it. Alright, it's always this last section coming up that always gets me. Right there. We'll give it, we'll give it one more time, but you can clearly see that the clickers are still working, the extenders, I don't know why I call them clickers. But they are working, just cut that dude off. Alright, let's go. Now with all of the added extra weight of like the shifters and everything, this aftermarket wheel, I want to go one more time because I was, I'm not focusing, but the shifters, the aftermarket wheel and everything, it does take a small bit of force feedback out of the Logitech, like it just does. I want to get in front of this person, they're going to crash me. Ooh, I almost crashed to them. Ooh, like butter. That always feels so good to actually get that done. Yeah, I used to just play like this map specifically just for hours. I used to stream it on Twitch, but then I stopped. I'm thinking I'm gonna start doing that again. Should I do Twitch or should I do YouTube? That's what I need to figure out. Oh, I kind of messed up there. It's okay. This will be our final lap. This turn right here. 
Oh, that feels so good to stay on the outside like that. Then fling it out, get a quick manji, and then just continue on with a new lap. I really love drifting. Like out of all motorsports, it would have to be my favorite hands down. But yes, that is gonna pretty much end it for this video. If you want to see more gameplay, let me know. If you want to see it live, let me know. Oh no, we're crashing. Ooh, we saved it. But that's that's my review of these like pedal things. I'm not even a review. It was just like my installation and showing you that they actually work and they're really easy to do and they don't affect drifting at all but i want to thank you guys for watching if this helped you out let me down let me know down in the comments below give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe let's build this channel up again i'll have more racing sim stuff more 3d printing coming up let's get this going but anyways until next time guys thank you and see you next time